Every hour of every day, the equivalent of 51 fines is meted out on our roads. It's pretty simple. Stay under the limit, avoid the fine and reduce the risk of killing someone. It's a record. $20 million in penalties issued in May. 37,000 speed camera fines plus 13,000 red light cameras. Over the last seven years, we've been fined $1,101,000,000. At all of the camera locations, when you put it together, we've had an 80% reduction in fatal crashes at those locations. Cleveland Street at Moore Park has clocked over 9,100 vehicles and $1.7 million in fines this year. Nearby at the Cross City Tunnel, it's $2 million. The same at Great Western Highway at Mount Victoria, up to $2.6 million at the Lane Cove Tunnel and a whopping $3.1 million in fines issued to 10,000 road users at the Eastern Distributor at Darlinghurst. The worst offender was caught doing 235 kilometres an hour in a 70 kilometre zone at Lane Cove Road. The police and RMS issued more than 366,000 penalty notices last financial year, totalling more than $100 million. It's become a staple form of government revenue that's guaranteed to rise with a record 6.6 .6 million vehicles now registered on our roads. You can avoid the crash and you can reduce the impact of crashes if you stay under the speed limit. And still the road toll climbs. 193 have died so far this year, 14 more than the same time last year. Brian Seymour, 7 News.